Hey everyone, today, Dollar Tree Spring DIYs, farmhouse bee decor crafts. Everyone knows life is better with bees. By the way, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya, and I do hope you all like, share, and subscribe. Now for our first DIY, we're gonna create this garden bee wall art piece. I'm gonna be using this sugared peach acrylic paint. I'm gonna be using the color rod iron, and I'm also gonna be using some of this black Indian ink paint. This is really loose paint, so it's great for detail work. And then of course, I just added a little bit of white. Now I'm taking one of these wood pieces from Dollar Tree, and I love these. They're really thick, they stand on their own, and it's in the shape of an egg, but these are perfect for so many different ideas of crafts, everyone. So if you see these, pick them up. I think we can use these through the whole season. Now, I just kind of drew some lines on to get my bee shape the way I wanted it to look for the body of the bee. And I did that little bit of darker black there to kind of represent the way a bee actually looks. And now you can see why I painted that white underneath. It really made that sugared peach color kind of pop. And I didn't want to do traditional colors of the bee. I was going for a neutral kind of look for this farmhouse decor piece. Now I had some of these wood hearts in my craft stash and you can see what I did. I just glued that on and slid it down so it would represent the eyes of the bee. And then I'm gonna be taking that Indian ink paint again. And I, like I said, I love this. It's permanent, it's very loose and very easy and quick to paint with. And I found this uh, scrapbooking paper that I had that has the music notes on there. And I thought this would be perfect for the wings. Now, these hearts I did have in my craft stash, but they do carry them sometimes at Dollar Tree during the Valentine's Day season. Or you could make these out of cardboard. You could make them out of foam board. You just want to get the shape of the heart where you're going to be able to layer these. And you'll see when I put these together, they make the cutest little wings for these bees. So if you haven't tried that with the heart shapes, definitely give that a try. Look how cute that little bee wing turned out. But everyone, this made an adorable farmhouse wall piece uh, for the bee decor. I just thought it was so cute and I think I might actually put this one on my porch. Now I definitely need to get a glue stick everyone. I took some glue and just rubbed it on there and then I pulled out some more of my cardstock paper and I really like that green. That's one of my favorite colors so I thought that would look really good with the neutral colors of my little garden bee and we're just gonna glue our bee onto this circle base and then we're gonna put it on our wood pieces and it's gonna make a really large piece of decor which I think just turned out so beautiful. Now you can see I'm just gluing those together and you just want to make sure you got that full heart at the top and then the other piece hanging out at the bottom and that really does make a wonderful shape for the bee's wings. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue my wings on first and then put the bee on top. And I just like the way this looked. I almost thought about putting the wings on top of the bee, but for this particular design, I really liked the way it looked when I did it like this. So you can do your bee however you like, but this is some inspiration that I hope you enjoy and I hope you do get to create a design like this. And I'm really loving these colors, everyone. I think it's really fun when you're crafting to just change up the colors and make them your own and do the colors that you enjoy in your home. Now here is that Indian ink and I want you to see how easy and quick this works to draw on the legs and the little bee antennas. I just think this is a really neat idea and You'll see when we get along here in the video, we're gonna make some baby bees. And I didn't put the little legs on those baby bees, but I think I'm gonna go back and do that. But this is a real flowy paint. So if you uh, would like to find this, they have it at the craft stores. I actually picked mine up at Michael's. I've had it for a long time. I use it sometimes in my acrylic paintings. 
But you can see how adorable this little bee looks when I start adding those legs. It just gives it that realistic look. And then I decided to add a little bit of that iridescent kind of look to the bee's eyes also. So I'll pull out my black flash paint that I used a lot during Christmas and we're just gonna do that on the eyes and make them have a little bit more realistic look. But everyone, I thought this little bee was adorable, so I do hope that you give this one a try. Now, I've been really busy this week, so I've only got a couple DIYs for you, but I will be back again on Thursday and we'll be doing some thrift store makeovers and of course, next Sunday. Now here's that black flash. I use this on my vintage bells a lot and I just thought this kind of, made that bee have a little more realistic look on the eyes. And then I wanted to take some of my florals and my greenery and just pop in there. Now these are some of the signs that I have had for several years from Dollar Tree. And I had already sanded those down and did the popsicle method and put some glue on there. And then we're gonna take some craft paper and just clean up the back and seal that off nice where it's really nice and clean on the back. I like to do that to my project. And once I get this all sealed down, we're going to flip it over. And I decided to use this side that has the black showing because when I sand it, I can get little tiny bits of that black showing through. And that kind of helped, you can see there, with the farmhouse look on the boards. And now we're just going to pop this little bee decor piece in the center. Now, I am just gluing this down for a temporary hold. I do wire this on because it won't stay very long when I hang it. And then I had those letters that I had picked up from Dollar Tree and I just did the always grateful. And of course you can read this always be grateful. And now we're gonna take these little tiny eggs that I found in the Easter section. And I had those little hearts that I picked up also at Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna do that same concept. I'm just gonna take some of these little hearts that I had in my craft stash. And I have seen these type of hearts at Dollar Tree. So you can also find those there. And that's why I said this is basically a Dollar Tree DIY both of these because almost all the items you can get at Dollar Tree or make them from Dollar Tree items. And I kind of did the same little drawing on my little bees, but everyone, I thought it was so cute, but when I added the little baby bees on here, it really made it. And look how adorable this bee is with an egg, the little hearts, and then I did that same concept with the wings, except you only needed the one heart for the little baby bees. But everyone, this turned out so cute. I think it's one of my favorite little bee decor pieces. Now I'm just going to glue these on. I put one on the bee and one at the top and one at the bottom there. And this could not have been cuter. Now I'm going to take and drill those holes in and just use some wire right there in the wing part that you can uh, wire this on. And I definitely suggest doing that. I mean, you could also glue this on with some E6000, but I feel comfortable putting this wire on and I just use a tiny drill bit and that way I know it's secure, especially where I think I might be putting mine out on the porch. But you just basically pull that through and then just twist them up really tight and that will kind of attach them where it's not going to go anywhere. Now I just took a few more little pieces of greenery and the florals and just covered up where I had drilled everything. And I decided that I wanted to add just a little bit of greenery down there at the bottom just because I had a few more of those flowers. And that pretty much finished this one off everyone. And look how beautiful this turned out. This is hanging on the wall now. I did put a hook on the back, but I love the colors. And I, like I said, I think this is one of my favorite little bee decor pieces that I've created. I do have an older one that I will leave linked for you in the description box. It was a beehive that I think you will enjoy also. And speaking of beehives, everyone, that is our next one coming up. Now for this design, I just took two of these little weaved baskets from Dollar Tree 
And I just wanted to glue these together. And then I had a little base that I had picked up at the thrift store and I end up gluing it to this. And I don't know what that little piece is. If you know, leave it in the comments. But I know it made a adorable little base for this little beehive. Now I'm using buttermilk on this. And I was gonna put rope around this, but when I found that buttermilk paint, I thought this goes perfect with the colors that I'm wanting for these designs today. And I really put a lot of paint on here. I used my whole bottle of that buttermilk acrylic paint, but it really did look pretty. Now I'm gonna be taking that Indian ink paint again. And everyone, if you do use this paint, keep in mind it's very flowy. I mean, it's almost watery, but just don't put much on your uh, brush at one time and it works so well and it covers really well. Now I decided to take some of this burlap and what I'm going to do is make the little shadow in the opening of the little bee hole there and it just gives it a more realistic look and basically you just want to go off to one side and come down and then get a little bit narrower as you hit the bottom and then you're just going to brush a little bit of that burlap through little areas in the black part and then add a little bit more black to detail around everything you'll see me do here but when i have it setting up you can see it just really kind of makes the opening have a little bit more of a realistic look to it and i thought you just might enjoy that in case you would like to try that i just think once you're standing kind of back from it you'll see what i mean it really makes it look like there's a hole there and I'm gonna take some more of that favorite greenery that I had in my craft stash. And like I said, they've got tons of greenery, of course, at Dollar Tree, but I just was using up some of the stuff that I had. And I just wanted to decorate this up a little bit at the bottom and put some florals on top. And then I had these little bees that I had picked up, I think last year at Dollar Tree. And I love these, they're adorable, but they have the wings painted on the back. So I just kind of filled in over top of that with some of that black paint because we're gonna add some more of those little heart wings to these bees. And that made this such an adorable little beehive. Now these little tiny hearts that they have at Dollar Tree this year, I think they're just perfect. And I was gonna paint them, but they just look so cute the way they were. I didn't do anything to them. And they kind of blended in with the neutral decor. So I just started gluing these all over and I used every one of these little bees. And I thought this made such an adorable little piece. But everyone, this was the only two I had for you today. I'm sorry, I was really busy this week and I'll have a lot more for you uh, coming up this week. Thursday, we'll do our thrift store makeovers. And then Saturday, I'll be back again. Or sorry, Sunday, I will be back again with some more of the DIYs. But I hope you've been having a wonderful weekend. And I'm so ready for springtime. I can't wait to actually see these little bees. I'll be happy when they're flying around because we, we know the warm weather will be here then. But you'll have to let me know if you enjoyed these today and you'll have to let me know if you're going to give these a try. And I will leave that other um, bee decor DIY linked for you. It's an older one, but it's a really pretty one and I think that you will enjoy it. Now we're just going to finish off by adding this little bee up top here on our little floral part. And I think I, there I have one more and we're going to pop that up top also to make it look like the little bee is landing in the flowers. But everyone, that's it for today's DIYs. Here is a little video of our little beehive setting up and it couldn't have been cuter. Well, everyone, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and let me know if you enjoyed these in the comments below. And I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Sunday and I will see you soon.